What's going on? Shane Serrano here coming to you from Radio Board Shop in Aspen, Colorado. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Burton Blossom. This is an all new board for this year, so let's check it out. All right, so here we have the all new Burton Blossom. This is going to be Burton's new team board that the team came together and designed themselves. In the past, most Burton team riders have ridden the Custom, but it seems more are starting to transition over to this Blossom. This is a completely freestyle and park focused board designed to give you a lot of snap and pop and hold up to the tricks that you wanna put down. This is a completely twin shaped board. So you're gonna have regular camber from tip to tip you're also gonna have twin flex, so the tail is gonna flex exactly the same as the nose. With the twin flex and the twin shape, you're gonna have a board that is gonna ride the same forward as it does backwards. That makes it ideal for the park because when you're doing switch tricks, it's gonna feel just the same as when you're doing regular tricks. On the bottom of this board, you're gonna get Burton's WFO base, which stands for wide fucking open. So the pores on this base are wide fucking open and ready to hold and absorb that wax to keep this board running fast. The construction of this board is Burton's Superfly 2 core. That's one of Burton's high-end cores that give you snappy, long-lasting materials and also reduces the weight in the board a little bit. Inside the board, you're gonna get a carbon I-beam. So a layer that has a carbon I-beam that runs from tip to tail, that's gonna give this board a lot of snap and power and help you boost those airs even higher. This is a mid to slightly stiffer flexing board, so that is gonna be paired up with the camber to give you a lot of snap in your ollies. Although this is a freestyle oriented board, it can ride anywhere and do everything. This classic twin shape makes it pretty rideable for anybody. If you're a day one beginner, there are some slightly better boards that you can start off on, but because this is twin, it makes it easy to start falling leaf and learning how to really use a snowboard. The butterfly artwork on this board was done by Burton team rider Niels Schack. I think this is a really cool graphic and something new that we're seeing from Burton. It catches a lot of people's eye and most people that I have talked to have loved this graphic so far. If you're one of the people that thinks this is a sick graphic, go and slap that like button and let me know in the comments below. The Blossom retails for $579.95 and comes in sizes 149, 152, 155, 158 and 162. If you're interested in buying the Burton Blossom, hit the link in the description below so you can buy it from radio and help support a small local snowboarding shop. And there you have it, that is the Burton Blossom, the newest addition to the Burton line. Thanks for checking it out with me and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.